uh, blessed people, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. The Lord Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Elohenu Olam. Elohim Shoftim Ba Eretz. The tremendous God that judges in the earth. Today, 20th April, 4.20 a.m. in the morning, the Lord God Almighty spoke to me. He spoke to me again about the glorious coming of the Messiah and the need for this generation to repent and prepare the way for the coming of the Messiah. It has been well trumpeted. Nobody can ever say, oh, I never heard. I never knew. Number one, I saw the most dreadful cloud of God descending down from heaven. Heaven opened, and then I saw the tremendous cloud of God that came to Kisumu. The one I called down that appeared in Kisumu. I saw the mighty cloud of God descending down from heaven. And I ran. It was a very dreadful moment. I trembled. There was fear because I knew God the Father himself is coming. Then I saw the cloud of God rushing through the sky, rushing literally, rushing high speed through the clouds. And then instantly, as I was still looking at the cloud coming from the, cloud, from the sky, then all of a sudden, instantly, I was shocked that the cloud of the Lord himself had now arrived and was, was passing, crossing over the tops of the trees. And he had arrived in the cloud of his dreadful glory. God, Yahweh. The cloud rushed through the treetops. And then the Lord made me afraid. I was afraid. I said, wow, I was very shocked and very afraid. And I ran towards the, the cloud to see the cloud and fell down with my belly, down flat. As the cloud appeared, the cloud of God, Yahweh. But as I looked at the cloud of God, when he arrived, over the trees, rushing over them, my heart trembled, extreme shock. Then I saw the judgment of God. Then he showed me the judgment of God. But this time the judgment of the Lord God had entered. He brought the judgment inside people's houses, people's homes. I saw the judgment of God inside people's houses. The judgment entered people's homes. So the Messiah is coming, blessed people. Let the nations prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Repent and receive Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. It is free of charge. The grace of God has been dispensed, has been administered to the earth. Repent and turn away from sin. Turn away from wicked hearts. Turn away from wickedness and evil, immorality and lies. Have the fear of God. Repent and receive Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, who died for you at Calvary. Receive him as Lord and Savior and choose holiness. Embrace righteousness. This is a very important time that you cannot let go, let loose, let skip, slip out of your hands. Because time is coming when it will be too late. I have trumpeted this so much. One day you'll wake up and find that the Messiah has taken the church. Let that not be your experience. The church that I saw rolling on the soil that had missed to enter heaven, enter the rapture, enter eternity. This is not a man singing a beautiful song with a wonderful instrument to entertain your ears. No. This is the voice of the Lord crying out and calling out to the nations of the earth. The Lord is asking... Why should you go and languish in hell when my own son, Christ Jesus, came and died for you? Do you really want to go to hell? God is asking. Do you really want to go and suffer in the torment of hell for eternity, into eternity, into eternity of the eternities? No. The opportunity is here. God is crying out. God is reaching out. He is summoning your hearts. The Lord is trying to reach out to you with grace. Because one day you wake up and find that the rapture has happened. Those of you will remain. How will you approach me after that? How? I have seen some that will remain. And they come to me and say, My Lord, it's too dark. I can't see where I'm walking. I can't see. Of course, when the church 
that is the light of the world is taken away from the earth, there will be gross darkness consume the earth, even the deeds of darkness, the Antichrist. There will be no worship. There will be a big revival on the earth, but at an expense, at a price. For you to worship and repent and read the Bible and testify and be born again. You will have to be beheaded. Do you really want to do that? So God is crying out to you while time still lasts, while the clock still ticks, that you may repent and receive Christ Jesus as Lord and Savior and choose righteousness and abandon sin and choose holiness and abandon wickedness and choose righteousness and abandon ungodliness and righteousness. The Messiah is coming, blessed people. One day you'll remember this voice. And I hope that is not your case, whoever is tuned in all over the earth. I hope you are not among those that will remember the way these old men cried for us for so long. How come we didn't see they called the cloud of God down? How come we didn't see the cripples they raised? How come we didn't see the blind eyes they opened? How come we didn't see the deaf ears they opened? Now look, the rapture has gone. I hope that won't be your story, your testimony, your experience. May the Lord bless you. Prepare for the coming of the Messiah. Thank you. The Messiah is coming. And it shall be known that the mouth of the Lord he has spoken. To Darabah.